Well, here I am in Diablo Immortal. I've been um, playing this game for a while. I guess practically ever since it came out, release. And, you know, I'm just going to give my opinion on it. I mean, there's a lot of content showing gameplay and doing things. And right now, I don't have any AC running. So, the video frame rate will probably drop severely if I do anything to increase the video, the game's heat. But, you know, I, I'm currently Paragon level 87. Let's see if I can't show that. You know, there's nothing here that shows my paragon or I guess right there I'm paragon level 87 and so you know I've, I've put a I put a decent amount of time into this game and um, you know uh, I guess you know I guess real quick I got my upgraded my gear to level 10 And you can see my weapon on re my residence is only at 345. But I watched the video. Uh, it was an Asmund Gold video. And he showed a residence of some guy who spent $100,000. And he had over 5,000 residents. And I'm saying to myself, like, how do you even obtain that? And I guess what I'm getting at here is I've played this game all the way up to, uh, let's say, Hell 2. I'm up to Hell 3 difficulty. And when I was in Hell 1 and Hell 2, it seemed pretty fairly easy to just be able to get your characters, like, let's say, potential to the place it needed to be in order to do Hell 1 and Hell 2 difficulty. And it was like, okay. I didn't, I, like, okay. I never upgraded any of the gear. Like, before when I was in Hell 2, all my gear was still at, was not never upgraded. So I was like, all right, let me just upgrade my gear then. Boom. Got it upgraded a sufficient amount of times up to level 8 or wherever it was. And I was fine. I was like, hey, no problem. Okay. I'll only my Paragon. All right. Let me come to my Paragon then, and let me put some points in, you know, Survivor or whatever it was. Let me, let me do this, do that. Okay, great. I'm, I'm doing Hell 2 difficulty, no problem. But once I got to Hell 3, it was like, even now, and this is what's prompted to make this video, even now, I put all my points because I was having a hard time surviving. So I even now I put all my points practically into Survivor and I'm still taking the, the hits are still coming in too strong from enemies. I just like I can still like get taken down too quickly. And I've got my gear upgraded to level 10 where the max level upgrades for your equipment to my understanding is level 20. So it's like I'm halfway there on some pieces. I'm just like, all right, and I'm still taking hits that are too hard. Like, what do I need to do in order to survive this content? So this becomes profound when I watch people run around in Hell 3 difficulty that seemingly are killing enemies with auto attacks. So I'm starting to say to myself, like, what could they possibly be doing that's allowing them to run around and defeat enemies with auto attacks? And, you know, I've heard all about, you know, you need to get your gems, you need to get certain gems. And so then it's like, the only thing I can see them doing is, is that they're getting these very powerful gems, legendary gems, and then they're managing to get them upgraded. You know, I don't have any of the powerful legendary gems. I have only like the rank, the highest star rated gem I have is a, a star two. I don't have anything above a star two rated gem. The only way to get higher like starred legendary gems is to use these legendary crests in the, uh, in the rifts. 
And, you know, all these things have been covered by other YouTube people. So I'm not going to try to go through all, walk through all of that. But it's like you don't get those legendary crests. You only get like a one legendary crest a week or something like that. So unless you're spending money on a routine basis, you're not going to get the legendary crest to give you the options or to give you the chance to get higher ranked legendary gems. So it's, it started. So now that I'm in, now that I'm in Hell Two, Hell Three difficulty, it became really clear that the only way for me to, let's say, get stronger with my character is to like spend money and to raise raise my uh, resonance, and I have to get to something extraordinarily high in order to help keep the content easy, because raising my paragon only serves as a mechanic because the way it works in this game uh let me for this i'll just go back to you have to go to west march to change your paragon i mean to change your change the game difficulty and the way it works is that the game difficulty is based upon your paragon level because see to do normal you just need to be paragons level one to 60. oh i'm sorry to do normal you need to be level one to 60. once you're level once you hit 60 you could go to hell one which is paragon level one to 60. at, at paragon 30 you could go to hell two at paragon 80 you could go to hell three and it, it just goes so on your paragon just simply serves as the mechanic to allow you to access higher difficulty content at which point you should begin to feel the push or the need to strengthen your character strong enough to the point to where they're able to make the content easy to do where the only way to do that is to spend money because raising your paragon doesn't make you capable of doing the hard, the harder difficulty content. It just gives you access to it so you can experience how hard it is and then realize that your paragon isn't going to make you strong enough and then you start looking for other means to make yourself stronger and then that's when you get hit with the gotcha, with the extreme gotcha aspects of the game. Because since raising your paragon and putting your points into these trees in your paragon doesn't give you what you would need whereas in Diablo 3 it would it doesn't give you what you would need to be able to defeat like to make yourself strong enough to be like alright I should be able to do more damage now that doesn't happen and I guess I need to correct myself in Diablo 3 raising your paragon it's not as strong as getting equipment buffs but there is a point in the game that once you get all of the equipment buffs, it's like, I guess, I guess what I said is accurate because at first you can raise your paragon, but without the equipment buffs, you're not going to be able to do the damage output. But once you do get the equipment buffs, you're able to proceed only to a certain point, at which point you need to raise your paragon. And that'll be the only way you can succeed. And then you need to raise your paragon to like these insane high levels in order to really allow you to proceed. So it's 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 like they both matter and they both have points at which they matter. And so raising your paragon in Diablo Mortal isn't enough to get your character. It's not going to be enough to let's say outweigh raising your resonance and then also too even if you get equipment pieces that's not going to be enough to outweigh resonance raising your resonance so it's like you're stuck having to try to raise your resonance which you can only do with raising a level of legendary gems that are and preferably legendary gems that are have a high star rating and the higher the star rating of a legendary gem the more resources it takes to level that legendary gem 
where those resources you can only get is by playing Elder Rifts with Legendary Crest. Because in order to level a Legendary Gem takes other leverage Legendary Gems. So you see the cycle. The only way to get Legendary Gems on a regular basis is to do Elder Rifts with Legendary Crest. You only, if you're not spending money on a routine basis, you're getting like one Legendary Crest per week. So you be, now you begin to see the cycle, it's like, okay. And then what makes it even worse is that this game, everything is rife with RNG. RNG oh, is I everywhere. See. Like for like instance, the equipment. Again. You see the stats, this one has fortitude and strength. If you've played Diablo 3, you would pretty much know that all equipment that you could equip on a character, in most cases, unless that equipment is designed to give out certain roles in most cases you're guaranteed to get vitality and your character's main stat and in diablo uh i mean in uh, diablo 3 your uh the the vitality i mean your character's main stat increases your character's damage as well as their uh like say defense or their their armor well, in uh, Diablo Immortal, there is like the like for instance, uh, for my DPS character, strength is what increases their increases their damage. But if you notice, it increases damage by twenty six and combat rating by eighty seven. It doesn't do anything to increase to it doesn't do anything to increase my armor, which will reduce how much damage I would take. There's a separate stat for that, which is fortitude. And so what they've done in this game is that they've separated stacking your main stat as a means to reduce your damage as well as to increase your damage and just made it to where stacking your main stat just increases your damage. So now you have to have another stat on your equipment to help reduce how much damage you take. But what they've done is that and whenever you get equipment, they only allow you to get two main attributes which are completely random. So in other words, you could be getting like as you and and then what they've also too done is they've tied the amount of attribute that you can get per equipment per drop based on your Paragon level. So again, like I said, it's rife with RNG. So as you get your so as you raise your Paragon level, it allows you to get drops that have better like have better amounts of your attributes on it. But those attributes are completely random, which may not have the attributes you need in order to help your character to survive. So in other words, I could come here, like when you get to the higher content, like I was just saying for myself, I'm the, the hits I'm taking from enemies, they're too much. I'm practically, I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm being defeated too easily. So that would mean I would need vitality and fortitude. Vitality gives you life. Fortitude gives you armor as well as armor penetration. So I would need vitality and fortitude. And if I was playing uh, Diablo 3, I would be always getting, uh, there'd be a high chance for me to get vitality in my main stat, which would give me uh, life and defense or life and armor. But in this game, I can literally get equipment that has like vitality and willpower or something like uh, strength and willpower. Where it's like, okay, what what do I do with strength and willpower? You know what I'm saying? I get to do more damage, but then I and I have willpower, which is like what 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 is like what does that do for me? Increases potency and resistance, but resistance doesn't do anything about how much damage I take. Resistance in this game just reduces how long debuffs are on me. So it's like, okay, I'm getting strength and willpower, but I still can't take a hit. So then I'm left hoping to get better drops drops with what I would need on it. And so even if I'm getting upgrades, they can still be trash. And then it's like it becomes very hard in order to be able to get my character to be able to take a hit. And it's like the only surefire way to raise any stats where if I raise it, that will be guaranteed to allow my character to be able to survive will be raising my resonance which is surrounded by 
uh, a paywall. And so it's like, after I've made it to this point, you know, I at least I was able to beat the main story. But after making it to this point, it's just like, all right, I think I'm done with Diablo Immortal. It's like, okay, there's no real way for me able to get vitality and fortitude. Raising my Paragon doesn't do anything except give me access to difficult, more difficult content to realize that my con- my character's too weak. And the only surefire way for me to raise any stat that will have a direct increase, like I know that when I raise this stat, or when I get the resources to raise this stat, I know that it would have a direct effect on my abil- on my hero's, let's say, uh, survivability is to, ways, uh, is to raise my resonance. Because to get set pieces in this game, you have to get, the, all these set pieces only become available when you are in certain game difficulties, when you reach certain game difficulties. So the only way that I could complete the set to have a six P, like to have a six P set bonus is if I'm able to actually access and beat the next difficulty. But the only way for me to be able to access and beat the next, well, I can access the next difficulty by just raising my Paragon, but the only way for me to beat it, I have to have the stats first in order to be able to beat it. And since um, raising my Paragon doesn't give me those stats, and since the equipment I get isn't guaranteed to help give me stats to help me survive, then I have to just take what I get and find some other way to boost what stats I do have to get me to a place to beat it, and the only way to boost the stats that I do have is with uh, this resonance, where the only way to raise this resonance is by having better quality legend- legendary gems and getting enough, let us say, ab- having enough excess of legendary gems so I can raise them, where the only way that is possible is by spending money on legendary crests if I want to do that in a, re- in a reasonable amount of time. It's not, it's, it's like, it's not possible to really play this game and get anywhere. You'll essentially be stuck on like how to difficulty for honestly years running around, killing stuff, free to play, waiting to get the resources to build your character. It's a waste of time. I mean, I'm not a person who has to be number one, but I am a person who wants to be able to access content and to be able to beat the content. And now it's become clear that that will never happen in Diablo Immortal as long as I'm free to play. I have to spend some money on a routine basis in order to make that happen, and it's not its not worth that. I mean, this game... It's a landmark. I mean, as far as what they presented, they, they, in my my opinion, you know, they really did recreate a Diablo experience. I mean, a, a, a Diablo as well as a partial World of Warcraft experience on mobile. It's like all these mobile games. It's like they. They're ruined by their need to extort money. I say extort, not just make money, extort money. Well, I just wanted to give some feedback on um, Diablo Immortal. I guess this is premature for this game for me. 